Hey everyone, it's Tom. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be covering Here's Negan, the technically second season 10 finale. Um, it was the final of the additional season 10 of The Walking Dead. Um, this episode was very special. I will be doing a non-spoiler section and then a spoiler section to get into my raw thoughts on all the dynamic, on all the... This video is not scripted as always. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is um, the episode, like the the dynamic of Negan and Lucille, and all of that fun stuff. Just the episode was beautiful, and I just don't want to yap on uh, for any longer. So we're going to uh, we're going to we're going to make a start. We're going to make a start on covering this episode because it was amazing. Um, I think the first thing to start off with when looking at this episode is you really do need to take into account how you already about already feel about Negan um, before watching this. So whether you think he was he's been redeemed already for murdering Glenn and Abraham and um, Spencer, um, you need to take into account that whether you think him murdering Alpha redeemed him for that or if you think he's still irredeemable because this episode does tackle a lot of Negan's motives as to why he is the way he is as to what kind of led him to becoming this sociopathic monster really that we first meet him as in season 6 and season 7 that in mind I'm going to give my perspective on the performances first. I think the performances are quite quintessential to look at. Um, the performance from Jeffrey Dean Morgan, I would say, is probably the best performance we've ever seen of him. And unless he is given some fantastic um, script work for season 11, I don't think he can get much better than this. This is the pinnacle of Negan. This is Negan at his peak of an, um, enjoyment within the show. Jeffrey Dean Morgan absolutely nailed it. I would almost go as far as to say that the performance in this episode is almost on par with Andrew Lincoln's performance as Rick Grimes in his final episode because this really does feel like Negan's final episode even though um, we will be seeing Negan again in season 11. This really does feel like the end of Negan and that's this is This is also venturing on whole new material for Negan because This is where the spoilers kind of come in Negan's story ended with his Negan in the comic books We didn't see Negan again until the final pages of the um, the final comic book where it was just, I think it was just Negan in his cabinet. So the cabinet we see Negan in, in this episode, in the comic books, Negan stays there and he has no involvement with the Commonwealth story whatsoever. So, with this in mind, Negan's, his Negan really does feel like the end of Negan's story. And to one extent, it is. Because um from the spoiler this spoiler section and kind of referring back to the performance as well jeffrey d morgan's performance um in the scene where negan finally burns the baseball bat i say finally but that never happened in a comic book it's just when negan finally lets go of lucille his performance was heartbreaking it was beautiful it was literally some of the greatest performances i've seen on tv since rick grimes's final episode um and michonne's final episode and like it was it was brilliant it was such an amazing amazing moment the performances from not only jeffrey d morgan but hillary burton who might i just add is jeffrey d morgan's real life wife didn't mean for that to rhyme, but cool. Um, she was amazing. She was absolutely stunning in the part of Lucille. It does make me quite sad that we can't see any more of her as Lucille because I don't think they will be tapping back into Negan's backstory. They've told everything they want to tell. They don't need to show the scene where Negan beats up um, the kid's teacher, the kid's parent. 
Uh, they don't need to show that moment in the bar because they've already done this, this brutal side. They don't need to go any further. They've done Negan's backstory. We know what happened to Negan now before we met him in season six. And that is amazing. The the writing of that episode is some of the best writing I have ever seen on screen. It really did. It, feel, it feels like the most amazing novel um, taken directly. Like, this is where source material really does. I either play. It, you either use it or you don't. And this is where my issue with shows like Riverdale. I love Riverdale. I'm loving season five at the moment. I think it's way better than season four. But that show does not use the source material. It doesn't use the. It only uses the characters and the names of um, the Archie Comics universe. The Walking Dead doesn't. The Walking Dead takes key moments from the comic books, develops it, will change some things, but it always follows the comic roots. They are taping, taking a step away from the comic book universe with Walking Dead. The Walking Dead will be on the Rick Grimes movies, but this episode really does serve justice to the comic books, especially Negan's role in the comics, because we see Negan at all of his best... Um, his best roles in this episode we see his broken side we see his strong side we see the return of savior negan everything we side of negan where um the, the the state of mind negan was in when he murdered glenn and abraham that's back the negan we see when he was pleading um for maggie to kill him that's back um <laughs> the side of negan that is um, apologetic for what he did he's back we see Negan as the hero as the villain as the you know just the, the badass that he is and Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Hilary Burton seriously do this justice I think for me the one moment which was like yeah I'm I'm uh, this is my Negan <laughs> This is my Negan right now. Was the scene where he he just lost um, Lucille. She just died. Um, obviously, she overdosed herself from the drugs. And Negan he burns down his house with that amazing song playing. That amazing song. I I listened to that song on a walk just before, and I started thinking of my best friend. Like, honest to God, that that song was just. It was beautiful, no pun intended, considering the song is called You're So Beautiful. It was amazing. And the scene where he does burn his house down, you can instantly tell where he's about to go. And he was gonna he was gonna go kick some ass. He he knew for a fact he was gonna go do it. And he knew for a fact that even though he'd never killed anyone until um the first person he bashes with Lucille, he knew he was going there to kill. And that that for me was just that was the birth of the Negan we met way back in season six. And like, as much as I hate what he did to Glenn and what he did to Abraham, I'm actually kind of glad they went with those decisions because it wouldn't have made an impact if he killed someone like Aaron or um, who else was there? Rosita or Sasha. I mean, Sasha did die, but it didn't really, you know, it wouldn't have made an impact if it wasn't Glenn or Abe, or just one of them, really. Or technically, more so Glenn, but both of them were such important characters to the show. To have Negan come in and kill them so violently and so visually graphically, it, 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 you're going to start off hating him. The things he says to Rick in Season 8 after Carl dies, saying that Rick failed him as a father, you're going to hate him for that. Even if you think Rick is in the wrong, it's still, you know, you're going to despise Negan for what he said. But... That episode really does it. It brings back everything, and it closes Negan Negan's story off perfectly. We even see um, a flashback of Rick slitting Negan's throat when Negan does go to find Lucille at the same place where All Out War ended. And I thought that was br that was a brilliant callback. It really did close off that that section of Negan's story, and now Negan. There are so many routes he can take. 
In terms of Negan's story, I don't know what they can do, but having said that Michonne is no longer in the show yet, and I, I do think she will make a comeback with Rick in the final episode, so that's why I'm saying yet. As Michonne is not going to be around for the same part as um, uh, she was in the comic books for the Commonwealth story, I do think Negan will take over Michonne's story arc in the Commonwealth arc. And I think this episode in particular does kind of kind of sets up a possible storyline for um, for Negan in season 11. Bearing in mind this will be his final storyline as season 11 is the final season. Um, I do think it's a possibility that Negan will meet um, Janine again in the apocalypse and therefore they will... Um, do the secret child thing, which was a, originally what Michonne's story arc consisted of in the Commonwealth story, uh, where Michonne found her long lost son, I think. So maybe they could have Janine be a part of the Commonwealth story, and she reunites with Negan, and therefore we meet Negan's son or daughter. I think daughter would be kind of interesting, considering. Um, Negan's dynamic with Judith, which I think was amazing. I do, I do hope that the one thing, the one complaint I did have is that we didn't get a scene between Negan and Judith, which I thought was quite, it was needed because in season nine, Negan and Judith had such an amazing, amazing dynamic together. It was fantastic. It was like. It was like, I don't really, I don't even know how to describe it. It was fantastic. Um, and they didn't do any of that in year, in year 10, oh God. Uh, season 10. They didn't do any of that. And I was quite disappointed, not just with this episode in particular on that front, but the whole season. Like, you had such an amazing um, relationship between Negan and Judith, and you did nothing with that in season 10. And I thought, you know... In season 11, you've got to at least do something with it. And season 11, um, especially after this episode, I don't know what to expect. I got huge season 9 vibes um, from the final shot of Negan and Maggie staring down at each other. And I'm like, is Maggie gonna is Maggie gonna go after him again? Are we gonna have a repeat of? Um, Daryl uh, versus Maggie and Daryl versus Rick and Michonne. Are we going to have a repeat of that? I mean, Rick and Michonne aren't there anymore. So, who's it going to be this time? Is it going to be Carol and Carol versus Daryl and Maggie? Is it going to. I don't want that, to be honest. I, I don't think it will serve it, the episode purpose. But I do think that with Negan no, um, being in prison uh, and also being in the same town as or the same settlement as Maggie I do think season 11 will diverge from I think the Commonwealth will be the central story but it will not last the whole 24 episodes my hope is that season 11 uh, lasts in three parts bearing in mind that it's 24 episodes and not 16 so you could do eight eight and then another eight I think the first 16 episodes will revolve around the Commonwealth, but the final eight episodes will be how the Walking Dead, the Walking Dead story comes to a close. And I think that's where we will see Negan and Maggie have their go head to head. We'll see Rick and Michonne return. We'll see um, Daryl find out that Rick's alive. We'll see um, Rick meet his son. We'll see all these different aspects. We'll, we'll, we will probably lose fan favorite characters and the stakes will be higher than ever, uh, which is why I think it's a possibility Negan could die in season 11, um, considering how he never died in the comics. Um, and they have ended his story as of this episode. He, he laid Lucille to rest once and for all. He promised her that she will do her fighting uh, she will do she will do his uh, her fighting for her she uh, he has promised her all of these things and they've really in story with this episode and i've mentioned that so many times because it's true 
in terms of source material, there is nothing left this episode can't... There's nothing left The Walking Dead can do with Negan. So, whether the show decides they want to do something else with it... And I think, um, you know, there's always a Daryl and Carol spin-off and Negan could always pop up in that. But I think Season 11 is a good place to end that, that story, uh, Negan's story permanently. Because... I don't see how what else they can do. I really don't. I don't know how else they can continue Negan's story. I, I don't know what else they've got in store for him. And that's the kind of um, a good thing about this episode is that it does leave up a lot of opportunities. Um, there's always the second Lucille, which um, Brandon Rose made, and Negan technically never got rid of. He just stopped using because it, it you know, at, at that point he'd. Um, it redeemed himself really by murdering um Alpha. Um, there's the the dynamic with Lydia. Um, who's who is Lydia going to side with now? Considering she um she's close with Daryl and Negan. She kind of looks up to them both as father figures. Um, is there going to be tension between Daryl and Negan now that Lydia is close with them both? Now that all these things are kind of put into into perspective just what's going to happen and um, this is that we do still get to see I think we will see Negan take up the forefront of season 11 and he will not so much revert back to his old ways but I do think he will take a humongous um, step into leading Alexandria Especially if they are doing the Commonwealth War, which I kind of hope they just get straight to the point with it, because I'm so sick and tired of um, the writers of the Walking uh, the AMC uh, AMC dragging out story arcs by two seasons, and unfortunately we don't have two seasons left after this, so it is kind of a get to the point and then close it kind of situation and I, I don't have an issue with that really I hope they do um, resolve a lot of these things and I hope that we do see I hope we see Negan um, also kind of um, step up not only as a leader but as a father and part of me is wanting to see Rick and Negan um, again if Rick returns I hope that if he does return Negan's not dead and I hope to God that if because um, I have a strong feeling that if Michonne does find Rick and they return together Michonne will vouch for Negan um, to Rick based on what he did in season 9 you know rescuing Judith looking after um, you know just everything. I hope to God that word gets back that he killed Alpha, and then when Rick does reunite with Negan again after eight years, Rick will be like, "I'll never for forgive you, but I can't forget what you've done for my family." And then we'll see them both lead together because I I think that the common I think the Walking Dead does have the potential to take the um, the CRM into the forefront again and have it be that Rick and Negan lead together to take down the CRM or the Commonwealth or you know whatever they've been setting up for the last 10 years so yeah uh, it kind of went from a here's Negan to Walking Dead season 11 but here's Negan um, it was beautiful it truly was. I I would honestly rate this as my top third favourite episode. It would go Season 9, Episode 5, uh, Rick Grimes' final episode, Michonne's final episode, then here's Negan. Um, honest to God. Season 10 has definitely had some of the best episodes. Some of the worst, I will admit. I hated um, Episode 21. I thought it was a load of crap. Um, it literally nothing happened. I thought the princess's episode was it was okay. I liked how they explored mental health 
with the princess and I think she'll be very interesting in season 11 but season 10 it, it has had some strong moments and I'm, I'm loving it I'm absolutely loving it they've done a brilliant job with um, character development over the last season like every character really has come into their own and I think Negan is a prime example of that he is easily the best character and I used to say that Daryl was my favorite but I'm just loving Negan more and more now like but well, after um, Rick left of course Daryl became my favorite but Negan 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 um, so yeah that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed the video um, don't forget to watch the episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you all later and peace out guys. Bye bye.